Kayla and Jim and welcome back to another Meteorology Monday. Since it is currently May, which is the heart of tornado season, a lot of significant tornadoes have happened in this month. So we figured that today we would sit down and we would go over the list of a bunch of significant tornadoes, like the widest tornado ever recorded, the longest damage path, the strongest winds. But I did all the research for this video and dad knows nothing this time. So we're gonna put him to the test. <laughs> I already prefaced it and said these tornadoes are like the simplest to guess. They are the major tornadoes. There's nothing crazy. So I think I gave him a fighting chance. <laughs> so if I fail, I'm gonna fail big. <laughs> it's gonna be funny. This time we can make fun of you instead of me in the comments. <laughs> there you go. But before we get started, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below so you never miss another Meteorology Monday. Now, for the record, I can look at her notebook, and since I don't have my glasses on, I can't read a thing. Oh, so that's I am true. not able to cheat. I'm not able to do anything. Did you even write anything on that paper? <laughs> I see nothing. Blind as a bat. <laughs> Blind as a bat. So let's start it off on a bit of an easy note. And you guys at home play along too. If you guys are big weather nerds, I'm sure you'll be able to get a couple of these as well, if not all of them. So, strongest winds, name the tornado and bonus points if you can name the date and how fast the winds were. Oh boy, the strongest tornado. We're talking wind speed, not necessarily damage or EF scale. Measured wind speed. Measured wind speed. And this could be from a Doppler radar? It could be. It's not from damage, like... Correct. It was, it was an EF2, but you know, it was really a five, but it was rated a two because it was out in the middle of a farm and Correct. we don't measure how, how far they <laughs> sling corn <laughs> to determine. <laughs> the speed of a tornado. Okay, Good old so scary. I am going to uh, take two guesses. I'm bad okay. with tests. This is terrible. But okay. anyways, my first two thoughts are the Moore, Oklahoma tornado of 1999 and the El Reno tornado of 2013. Um, wow. I think those are probably my two, I would say, would be the highest wind speed. I do remember they recorded the Moore, Oklahoma, May 3rd, 99. They had measured winds with the Doppler radar at 318 miles an hour, but that was off the surface like 100 feet or something. So I think after all the research and X amount of months or a couple years later, they wound up whittling it down to 301. But uh, incredibly specific. Th that's that's <laughs> that's one I remember. Nailed it. Okay, so I mean, you couldn't have been more correct. <laughs> now, so, is, is the test over? Uh, Do I pass? No, uh, not yet. So yes, <laughs> technically. The May 3rd, 99 tornado was the strongest. That's at 301 plus or minus 20 miles per hour. They have that little window there. And in second place is El Reno. They hey. did technically measure wind speeds of 336 miles an hour. We could put it above, <laughs> but... Was that right at the surface or...? But it was kind of... It wasn't right at the surface. On the surface, it was 296. Okay. So it was a little bit very less. close. So it's like it's second, but it's first, but it's second, but you can't take it away from the May 3rd tornado. Yeah. So May 3rd takes the cake. All right. <laughs> Off to a great start. Thank you for watching this week. We really no. appreciate it. Like and subscribe. <laughs> Until That's next time. Question one. <laughs> the next category I have is the longest damage path. I'm not looking for specifics with this one. Just give me the tornado. Now, I would say that that would be the, was the Palm Sunday tornado in 1925. That, that had a long damage path. You are in the correct year, the, but I don't think this was a was, Palm Sunday. It looks more like a Wednesday to me. Palm Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> Was that the one in March? This was in March. It was yes. in March. I, I might have my a hint. It, it's the it's the not, no not Palm Sunday. I'm sorry. That that was a different tornado. Here we go. What was the one? Here we go. I'm thinking. Hold He's on. Think. Hold on. The brain. The hamster's moving. <laughs> um, oh, oh 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 oh. Hold on. So it was the 19. It was March. It was. 1925. It was. Longest track tornado on the ground. Three states. The. Mm, the name, the name, the name. Tri-state tornado. Here we go. So three you, states. You basically named. Three states, Jim. Three states. It was the three-state tornado. Three states, Jim. 
<laughs> Give me a hit. Three states. <laughs> right. Longest damage path, the Tri-State Tornado. March 18th, 1925, it went through Missouri, Illinois, and Indiana and its path ranges somewhere between 151 miles at the minimum or 235 miles at the max. Mm -hmm. They can't tell exactly if it was one full tornado that entire way or if there was like a tornado family, which is like a it's one supercell, but it's multiple tornadoes. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, this was a long time ago. Now, keeping with that same kind of category, we have the longest tornado path for a tornado family or a supercell that drops multiple tornadoes. We don't need specific tornadoes track. or anything because it's multiple tornadoes. W would it be the, the storm system of Give me a year. 2011, the one that went through Tuscaloosa? It was not that one. That's stumping me. I I'm may trying. have lied. This one's kind of obscure. Okay. I forgot about so, this give me So, give me a hint. It is another March event. It another was March. part of a outbreak, early 2000s outbreak. I think we've got him. Uh, I think you got me on that one. <laughs> my, my thinking around that time frame is, I can't, 2003? If I am remembering correctly, this was on a season of Storm Chasers. I don't Give know, up. you got me stumped. Give yes. up. It was March 12th, 2006. Yep. And that ended up going across six states, lasting for 17 and a half hours, and covering 790 miles. Hmm. That's a very long-lived supercell. Wow. That kept dropping tornadoes. Crazy. Crazy. <laughs> Here we go. Now this is a major tornado. I don't know if you're going to remember the exact one, but it was major. It was on Storm Chasers, I'm positive. <laughs> and this category is greatest pressure drop. What was the greatest measured pressure drop? This that was, was Tim Samaras. It was. Great guy, his whole team. But Tim Samaras, Tim Samaras had tur his a turtle probe, I yep. think it was called. Yep. 100 millibar drop. It was 100 millibars. Was it in Colorado? It was not Colorado. Not Colorado. Go north. Wyoming. North. East. Nebraska? Err. <laughs> North. Norther. <laughs> South Dakota? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> now he knows uh. it. <laughs> Beautiful, like, what black was the tornado. name of that it one? It was so big. Oh. Where was it? What was the city in South Dakota? Oh, it shares a name with a town in England. Manchester. Yay! Perfect. A hundred millibar drop. It ended up also being, uh, it measured the tornado at like 820 something millibars, which is, if not the lowest, almost the lowest ever recorded pressure on Earth. At the surface. As we, we've discussed in previous Met Mondays, the 850 millibar level yeah. is roughly 5,000 feet up in the air. Correct. This is like having 5,000 feet in the air be on the ground. The air or at that you, level. Be yeah. The, down. Or you being up there. Or you it's being supposed. up there. Crazy pressure higher, drop. Higher than that. What is average sea level pressure? Average sea level pressure would be millibars, please. Not in 10, 13.25 millibars. There we or go. Or 29.92 inches of mercury. So, regular sea level pressure <laughs> is about 200 millibars. Stop that. <laughs> I had to throw it in there. I just had was to. Was having a teaching moment <laughs> and you're being a nerd. So anyways, that tornado was about 200 millibars less. And the average hurricane is only like 960 millibars. Yeah, it's like a 50, 50 it's to... It's not, yeah, it's not 50 huge. to 80 millibar drop for really strong ones. Yeah, and, and this tornado was 200 was millibars below. In a very small area. I mean, at least yeah. a hurricane, the eye yeah. is, you know, 10, 20, 30 miles across, and even then you're talking 930 right. millibars or something like that. This is very small, very tight, yep. which is why the wind speeds are so, so much more, because the atmosphere's got to balance that yep. huge pressure gradient. Going back to our quick fire fun facts, widest tornado on record? El Reno? Yep. 2.6 miles. 2.6 miles. And the date? You remember May 2013? May 2013, but it was May... Mm, 20... No. 
It was after the Moore tornado, which is May 20th. Yeah, so that was like May 27th or something like that. Yeah, four days off. May 23rd. May 31st. There we go. I'll get it. There's so many of them. It's, it's hard to keep track. You get to my age, it's just, you're lucky you can remember your birthday. <laughs> Which is coming up by the way. It's this Wednesday. <laughs> what is the highest forward speed of a tornado? Like, okay, so you have the this, and we know that this was the May 3rd. It was 300 and something miles an hour. But there's also the this. So, what about this? How fast was it going? Which tornado was it? Uh, I remember time? one being 73 miles an hour. It is 73 miles per hour in the forward direction. And which one is it? It is one that we have named before. It's the Tri-State Tornado. It's the Tri-State Tornado. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll give you a hint, it goes through three states. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it got through three states. It was booking it at 73 miles an hour. Now, can you imagine a tornado at 73 miles an hour nowadays and trying to be warned for that? Uh, be but now this was like a hundred years ago. Could you imagine being like, hey, we just got a tornado here in Missouri. Oh, that's cool. Well, I'm all the way in Indiana. You guys have fun with that. Oh my goodness, it's here! <laughs> Moving faster than the, the telegraph and the, and the <laughs> horse <laughs> would be able to warn the next town. <laughs> okay, I know. They had the I'm Model sure. T Fords and everything they else had that day. a little day. bit more Some trains than and horses. The Pony Express was not <laughs> delivering Carrier pigeons warnings. and everything else. I know. They had more than that back in 1925. They didn't have interstate systems back in 1925. Did the cars go 73 miles an hour back then? I don't know. That's interesting. So how would you even, you couldn't even get out of the way of the thing if you wanted to. Crazy. Wow, so. we just turned this into a history lesson. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Meteorology Monday, where we discuss 1920s history facts with you. Thumbnail. Monocle on my eye. <laughs> <laughs> Name the city that got hit with four major tornadoes. Major tornadoes are EF4 or higher. It got hit in the exact same spot four times. Which city is it? Some of you guys know. Moore, Oklahoma? There we go. <laughs> <laughs> and those years were 1999, of course, and 2013, both of those being EF5s, as we know. But then again in 2003 and in 2010, there were EF4s. That is four tornadoes in 14 years wow. being. EF4 or higher. Uh, and that is not including the multitude of EF2s that have also right. hit the same town. Right. Going off of that one, there is another city in the United States that was hit by three tornadoes on the same day, three consecutive years. May 20th, 1916, May 20th, oh. 1917, and May 20th, 1918. I would not want to be in this city on May 20th of 1919, staring out my windows all day like this. I remember reading about it, but I don't remember. So give you a state. Is <laughs> what it... state do you think it was in? Kansas? It was in Kansas, yes! Okay. Codell, Kansas. And another May 20th tornado. You know what? Now that you say that, I remember when I was a teenager watching In Search Of by Leonard Nimoy. I remember him <laughs> saying something about, and. Codell, Kansas was hit three years in a row on the exact same day. And then at the same time, they showed a picture of this tornado just coming through, tearing through this cornfield or whatever, lightning striking a tree. And then they went to the shot of the Xenia, Ohio tornado just ripping everything up. It's like, I don't know, it was, it was <laughs> a memory. Thank you, Leonard Nimoy. <laughs> I appreciate it. My last category for you today, the costliest tornado. What was the costliest tornado? It caused $2.9 billion in damages, counting for inflation, which is your hint. Which would be probably the Moore, Oklahoma tornado? Nope. No? Nope. This is surprising. When I read this fact, I was like, how could it be? Because I'm pretty sure back in this day, the only thing that tornadoes were taking out is um, barns and log cabins, perhaps. Not sure exactly, but I definitely don't think major things like an arch 
was there. Tri-State Tornado? Back in the day was not the Tri-State Tornado. We are going Saint, back. St. Louis? To the St. Louis Tornado of May 1896. A hundred years before I was born. So there you go. There are some incredibly significant tornadoes. The widest, the costliest, the longest damage path, the strongest winds, the biggest pressure drop. Most of them occurring sometime in May. How do we think that dad did <laughs> on the quiz? I'm going to take a quote from a meatloaf song from back in the day that says, two out of three ain't bad. <laughs> but I think you did pretty good, actually. Thank I think you, you got I like it. most of them correct. There was only a couple that stumped you, but yeah. after a couple of hints, you know, like three states. <laughs> couple of hints. <laughs> Try state. <laughs> three states. <laughs> <laughs> More <laughs> tornadoes. <laughs> More tornadoes. <laughs> Anyways, Dad did great. There are some fun facts for you guys. Let us know down in the comments how you did. A bunch of these were significant tornadoes, so I'm sure you guys were able to get a few of them. If you like what you saw today, again, be sure to hit that like button. Helps us out a lot. And hit that subscribe. We are almost at 2,000 of you guys who watch our videos which is insane because I don't even think I know 2,000 people <laughs> on this side of the camera. <laughs> and if you want to follow more of our weather adventures, be sure to check us out on Instagram and Facebook. Don't forget to check us out on our website as well. Exactly. Linked below. Until next time, I'm Kayla. And I'm Jim. Thanks for watching. And may your quiz taking be more successful than mine. Three times as successful. <laughs> Try times. <laughs> Ha ha ha! Three states, Jim! Three states! <laughs> it was the three state tornado! Three states, Jim! <laughs>